How about his teenage? 青春期的时候呢，会不会又特别的吐血？嗯，我只能跟你说，哥哥离去上大学的时候，临走的时候，他就有跟我说 ，I feel sorry for you， 你将来要 deal with Jeremy 的 teenage。可是我的个性是从我妈妈来的，所以他知道。对，我是自食恶果。对 ，That's why she's laughing. What were the unforgettable memories that happened in your teenage that reflect the personality your parents just emphasized? 就是一定要做自己的事这一类的。It was more. It was more when I was younger, I would say. What did you do? It was just it could be anything. If I want to eat pineapple, he doesn't let me. I'm very angry. Then when he goes to sleep, I eat a lot of pineapple. Or if I want to call the phone, then when I get caught, I'm more angry. Then I get angry. 会哭，然后就会说 sorry， 然后下次继续继续。<笑>他几岁的时候跟你们一块儿去教堂去教会？从小从小的时候。Last year came here and give us a very inspiring speech, testifying how um God is working on you and how your belief is leading you all along and manifest that God's greatness and love. In you, so I think nowadays, no matter winning or losing, you always want us to find God's strength and blessings in you. Would you give us some more experience on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of the story, a lot of my story, a lot of my career is untold. We don't know what's going to happen. But I think what we've seen in the past is God's glory has been shown through in a lot of different ways, and. In a lot of ways um, that I'm not able to, um, he has given me the strength and he has given me the ability to overcome um, the obstacles. And I think, um, you know, this past year was not uh, a great year for me in my own opinion, but um, I still believe it's for a reason. Um, it's for something. And, and I think my job is to stay faithful, um, to keep working as hard as I can every day and uh, trusting God with all the results. At night, when you receive the phone calls, um, I guess it's from the agents of the Knicks uh, telling you that they're not gonna reserve you. You are going to be uh, traded in to uh, Houston Rockets that night, except eating lots of buffalo wings. <laughs> I mean, before you go to bed, how did you pray to God? Can we know? Um, I basically said. Um, obviously, uh, you know, it was tough for me. Uh, it was a tough situation, but um, I basically said, uh, you know, you've brought me this far. Um, you've given me something uh, beyond my uh, wildest dreams, and uh, you've given me uh, an unbelievable opportunity. Um, and, and, you know, now you want me to go to Houston, and you've made that clear. And so uh, for me, it's just, uh, you know, all right, like, Let's go. Uh, that's what we. That's what needs to be done. And, and for me, it was just a process of learning to get over um, everything that happened, let it go, and move on towards the next phase in my life. So, in the past one year, do you feel that you have heard God's messages? Or is it just like the normal Christian? Sometimes we pray after praying, we feel like we can't hear God, but we still hold on to our faith and move on. Sometimes we can hear God. What is your situation? Your situation? Your situation? Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I've learned a lot in the past year. I've learned a lot about patience. Um, patience. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot about waiting for God's plan, trusting um, in God's sovereignty. Um, I've learned about uh, how to deal with adversity. Um, and I've learned about how to uh, not put uh, my being, my identity, my self-worth um, in my basketball performance. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, last time, uh, last year, when you gave us the speech, you say something about uh, now I'm playing basketball for, for God, not just for fans, not just for sports. So this is the most important thing in Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I would try to focus on, but uh, sometimes, you know, me being human, me uh, having a lot of pride and being uh, 
just uh, sinful in general. It's just a lot of times um, I'll think differently or I'll uh, lose track of what is really important. And I think for me, um, that's what a, what a lot of this past year was, was relearning. Um, I don't have to be Lynn Sanity. Um, I can just be uh, Jeremy. And, and who Jeremy is to me is uh, I can just be um, a son of God. And, and uh, you know, that's enough. That's more than enough. 你刚刚呃在形容 insanity 的时候，用一个很简单传神的字，你爸爸也有用这个字疯狂 crazy， 呃，所以 insanity era 这一段时间，那个时候在里面的你，呃，觉得最最不习惯，或是让你最难最难掌握的是有哪些事情，哪些因素，然后你会很高兴那个时期结束了。就是我不喜欢，呃，大家在看我，所以如果我要去吃饭，我不要，我我要跟家人去吃饭，我就要安静去吃饭。可是如果呃 ，like if there's paparazzi， 呃，狗仔 or or whatever， 呃。I'm just more of a private person, so uh, it took me a, a, a little bit to get used to. But um, where is the Hello Kitty head mask? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's it's a little too big to take back to the U.S. <laughs> Who comes up, up with the idea uh, last year wearing that mask so you successfully get away from all the uh, media chase and um, you can play basketball on the bridge like uh, ordinary <laughs> people with young kids here? Yeah, uh, 我的朋友专门做我的 YouTube videos， 所以呃，他呃 ，he comes up with a lot of different ideas. So, um, and that one, that video, uh, 60 minutes from the U.S. uh also helped us with that, and so it was uh a collaborative effort between everybody. 是他刚刚提到，他很高兴自己过了 Insanity Era 那段时间，然后可以回到一个林书豪，然后大家可以。用林书豪来认识他，而不只是一个巨星，一个窜红的，呃，好小子哦。你们觉得林 i n s a n i t y Era， 当然那个只是发生在去年，林波林妈妈。但是你觉得这个对他未来的一生那一段时间，呃，那个狂热，对他发生的影响跟意义在哪里？那我觉得从林 i n s a n i t y 的爆红到归于平淡，我觉得这个是，嗯，是是很难呐、啊，我觉得很难。所以，嗯，所以我是感谢神说在。在，因为他有神，他这个信仰对他很重要，圣经的话语对他很重要，所以在碰到这些大风大浪的时候，他可以重新回到神的话语当中，那不容易。可是，可是他也是慢慢在学，我们也是在慢慢学。是 ，Your mom just、uh, talk about 就是神对你的安排，然后他的支持，在你人生高峰或低潮的时候都一直在哦。Uh, of all the 146 games, NBA games, um, so far, uh, what is the most memorable defeat? Game six of the playoffs this past year, 就是呃去年最后一场。可以跟我们讲的详细一点。就是我呃从我的 chest 的的受伤呃回来打呃季后赛第六场，然后。我没有打得好，然后我们也输了，所以，呃、uh, ，that ended our season. Um, for me, it's the most memorable. Um, 我在纽纽约的时候，呃、uh, ，我们打进打进季后赛，我也受伤了我的膝盖，所以我不能打。Yeah. 可是去年我有打，然后我我的表现，呃、uh, ，没有没有那么好，所以我现在还记得。然后，呃、uh, ，每天都要。努力训练，因为我知道，啊、uh, ，我去年没有打的，呃、uh, ，我希望好。So you feel how long that you have been through? I mean, uh, how long does that cost you to get over to the defeat? I mean, it just it all depends.、Mm -hmm. um, in some ways, you're kind of never over it until the next year. Wow.、Um, <laughs> it's just like. For me, I'll always remember that until I have a new memory of what the playoffs are for me, and you know that might not come for a while. I would say the changing point was when I got hurt the year before, and I hurt my ankle. And in that situation, I learned like 
the meaning of hard work. I learned the meaning of trusting my teammates. And then, um, but no one could really see that. No one could understand that until that game. When like. So, Lin, you, you, from young, when you play with him, you know that if he's so passionate about basketball, and then. 呃，打球会变成他一生的热血跟职业的时候，他要永远去面对这个永远不知道的输或赢、输或赢，以及这一切的一切，对他自己心性上面的一种修炼跟克服，有点像修炼了。当初会带他打球，是因为有兴趣带他打球，所以小时候就带他打球的时候，从来就没有想到他会有一天会变成是这样子。但是因为后来打得越来越久的时候，觉得。他打得越来越好，那初中、高中到高中的时候拿到世界铅笔的时候，当初也没有想到他会打职业的篮球员，只是想说他在大学的时候可以拿到奖学金，可以继续在球队里面打篮球。但是进入大学之后呢，哈伯本身他并不是，并不是啊 n c a 里面很强的一个学校打篮球也不是，所以，所以我们从来就没想到是说。他会打职业，这变成职业的篮球员，所以我就是有一句话形容，就是说我们是无心插柳。I think God always give you a different uh challenge um along the way, like um talk about uh last month, uh Houston Rockets offer a lucrative contract with Super Center Dwayne Howard. Ever since then, speculations on whether Jeremy Lin would. Remain or get traded into another game spread out. Being a professional player, um, how do you see the NBA trade deals, and how do you cope with it? Hmm. Well, I guess it's what is my focus on. So, I know, uh, no matter I'm in which team, uh, God wants me to be strong, by the way, uh, use my strength to play basketball. 呃，为他打篮球，所以呃、uh, ，in a lot of ways， 呃，我 I can't control if I get traded or not、um,。嗯 ，but it's just a matter of what am I gonna do、um, regardless of where I am， and that's just、uh, to continue to play、um, the way I think he wants me to play。Practically speaking， u、uh, in the past year， uh, how would you like your life， new life in Houston？ Can you、uh, share with us? Oh, do you well, miss New York? <laughs>、uh, I mean, I miss playing for the fans in New York.、Um, oh, really? Why? Because they are very warm. Yeah. It's very fun. But that's the crazy part.、Right? Yeah, that's the crazy part. But I think Houston is more calm. And it's more fun to play with my personality. So I really like it. 我很喜欢住在休斯顿。你看，去年呃，应该是今年吧，你们全家也做了一件非常特别的事，就是你拍了一个纪录片。And I know the documentary is going to show here in Taiwan right after Double Ten, our National Day.、Mm -hmm. 所以呃，可不可以告诉我们说，你们后来怎么样决定要接受这个纪录片的邀请？我知道他们呃，希望 Jeremy 拍这个纪录片，希望了很久了。Yeah. 呃，耶，他们我在大学的时候，他们说他们要拍这个。Ever since then? Yeah， 纪录片。可是我比较害羞，所以我不要。有一个 camera 每天跟着你。Yeah。然后呃，打完呃，我打完我我的 rookie year， 我第一年啊，跟 Warriors 的时候，我就觉得啊，现在有 NBA lockout， 所以我有比较多的时间可以可以呃开始拍。呃，一个纪录片，然后变成，然后 insanity， 呃、uh, ， happen， 然后就变成比较大的、比较大的纪录片。I think I wanted to share most、um, about how God、um, really affected my life and how He controlled all the different things to allow me to get to the NBA. And then once insanity happened, that gave me an even bigger platform to be able to explain. <clears throat> how God got me to the NBA, but also how God worked through me and get,、um, allowed insanity to happen. And、uh, essentially, the documentary is my story through my own eyes, and I can tell it、um, exactly the way I want to. And that's the cool thing about it.